Hi, I'm Thomas Harmon. I'm the founder and CEO of Balsam Hill. I'm also our lead tree designer. And today I'm joined by Bruce Schooley, the inventor of the flip tree. And we just want to have a conversation and talk a little bit about Christmas trees and the introduction of flip tree to Balsam Hill. When I've invented Christmas trees or designed Christmas trees, I've really focused on realism and trying to make the trees look as lifelike as possible. And with the introduction of the flip tree to Balsam Hill, we now have an awesome storage feature uh, and convenience feature and so we want to share uh, more about that and, and the origins behind it and, and get that story across to you. So Bruce, thanks for coming in today and spending oh, time. We've been spending a lot of time together working on designs for, for new improved flip trees and mm -hmm. more tricks up our sleeve coming in the future, but great opportunity to, to share about where we are today and really appreciate you being here. Well, it, it, it's my privilege, it's wonderful to be here. Well, thanks. So can you tell me a little bit about kind of what inspired the flip tree and, and how you got into Christmas and thinking about Christmas trees in the first place? Yeah, my wife and I were married at Christmas. We absolutely love Christmas. We love all things Christmas. So we have five, six, seven Christmas trees each year. Uh, what's happened with Christmas trees, which is wonderful over the past few years, is that they've become much more heavy because of these lifelike tips that are absolute, that it makes the trees absolutely breathtakingly beautiful, but it also makes them heavy. Mm -hmm. And so I was noticing year after year that as we got different trees that they were becoming uh, heavier and heavier. And that provided the inspiration for having a unified uh, uh, tree design so that they, uh, you didn't have all these kind of parts you had to put together, but also for the flip, for the flip concept, which carries the weight and allows you to have really two pieces of a tr two parts of a tree, the main, the main tree itself and the treetop. Um, so it was, it was kind of a response to the evolution of Christmas trees, how Christmas trees have got, just gotten to be an absolutely wonderful product, but their size and their weight needed a solution. That's great. So Bruce, as you were thinking about you know, this new invention and, and starting to perfect it, I mean, how long did that take? I assume it just didn't you know, appear the next day. It, I mean, after I got the initial concept for the tree, it took me hours to figure out how to actually make the thing work because you had to rewire the tree so that when you flipped it, you didn't have the wires cross. You had to think in terms of the tree as one, as one unit. People look at it and they don't quite understand how it's possible that this thing, this thing works. And after a while, the light goes off and they say, yeah, well, I get it now. I, I see why it works. Bruce, we're really excited to work with you. It's been fantastic. We're excited to have Balsam Hill be the new home flip trees going forward. Can you share a little bit about what's different about the Balsam Hill flip trees in your opinion from flip trees that you've worked on in the past? In my opinion, the Balsam Hill flip tree is by far the best flip trees ever produced. Not only with quality, but with beauty and design and attention to detail. I think almost any customer looking at them uh, would instantly recognize that. Another thing that's tremendous about flip tree this year that we haven't had in the past is, is the easy plug, which now allows a customer to set up a tree and uh, put in the top without ever having to attach um, internal uh, extension cords. Very simple. I mean, it, this really couldn't be a simpler item to put up. So Bruce, uh, you know, through the years of doing flip trees, I'm guessing you've interacted with customers and, and heard probably some fun stories. I know we get a lot of great stories from our customers. Anything that sticks out in your mind of just interesting stories related to flip trees? The ones that we remember are the funny ones. Like uh, a woman will call up and say, this is the first time we've ever put up a Christmas tree where we didn't fight for two hours. Another woman called up after Christmas and she said, that she loved the tree so much that she would leave it in the kitchen when they were preparing for Christmas dinner. Then she rolled it into the dining rolled it into the dining room for <laughs> Christmas dinner, and then she rolled it into the family room to open up the gifts. I mean, I love that. That's fair. That's yeah. that's ultimate convenience, Bruce. This has been a lot of fun to have this conversation. It's been a lot of fun working with you over the past year, and we're just really excited to have Balsam Hill be the new home for Flip Trees. You know, we have a lot of projects planned together in the coming years and just really look forward to this relationship. So thanks so much for coming in and sharing your stories. I really appreciate it. Oh, well, you're welcome, Thomas. I couldn't be more excited about working with Balsam Hill. What a wonderful company. Thank you. It's great to have you here and have you be part of the family.